Well, we have survived tax season 2021. It is a wrap. Let's see. It is 10 minutes to 10 on April 18th. I have just sent off my last extension and I'm done. And so I want to thank all of you, everyone who allowed me to serve you again this year and who uh, just really just got everything done so we could um, get most people filed on time and have very few extensions and very few uh, things that I need to do afterwards. I just want to thank you for being the wonderful clients and friends that you are uh, to um, make my job and my role as serving you as tax professional easier uh, just by doing everything that I ask you to do. And, you know, I appreciate you. I want you to know I appreciate you. So tax season is over. Now, there's a few of you who we, who we were not able to finish. This is the deal. If we were almost there, we can still keep working. But if we're not almost there, not almost done, we still have stuff we need to uh, go back and forth about, or we have not started you at all, your taxes at all. There's just a few of you. I'm taking a break until May 3rd because May 1st is a Sunday and um, my days for doing um, this type of work um, is Tuesday and Friday. Those are the days when I do generally, except when it's uh, tax season. Those are the days when I do this type of work. It was on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So that means May 3rd is the next time um, for some of you if we weren't almost there uh, when we will work together again. Um, but you can keep working in into it, Link. So, you know, keep whatever we're missing, keep sending it, um, filling out those questionnaires, whatever. And then when it's time to get going, everything will be there and we'll be good to go. So again, thank you. And um, if you need any tax planning and consulting throughout the year, um, especially those who are getting closer to retirement and things like that, where you just really do need to start doing other things with your money, um, I do do tax consulting. It is not part of the fee that you pay when you do taxes now. Um, that fee only covers the services for tax season and any consulting I need to do during tax season. Anything outside of that where you want to start to kind of try to strategize um, and figure out some other things that you can do, uh, uh, ways that you can prepare for retirement, there, there is an extra fee for that. If you're just asking me little minor questions because you, you need to make a quick decision, I'll answer those because I'd rather you make good decisions about your money and about your taxes than to not want to pay me a fee so you don't ask. So I'll answer little questions, but if we need to do some uh, in-depth conversations and things like that, there is a fee for that. There's an hourly fee for that. So um and that's something if you're interested um, and if you want it, because some of it, when you start to try and strategize and move money around and, um, you know, try to figure out how to get the best out of your HSAs and your retirement accounts and prepare for that, it takes time and it takes thought and it takes conversations. Um, so I'm here for that, um, for any of you who would like that. Otherwise, I will see you in next tax season at uh, tax season 2022, which will start sometime at the end of January uh, 2023. All right. You guys have a good year. Do good things with your money. Don't waste it. Do good things with your money. Start a business. <laughs> Don't quit your job. <laughs> Some of you can quit it, but yeah. Don't quit your job and start a business. Start a business, work a little while, while you have a job, and see is that really what you want to do, all right? It's a major commitment. But having a business gives you tax strategies that you will never have with just W-2 income, all right? All right, have a great one. I'll see you next time.